Hello everybody, Stallions, Handsome Jack Boy here, bringing you guys the seventh episode of my Borderlands Enemies Guide. And in today's episode, we're continuing on with the Skags, but the Skag in particular we're talking about is the Alpha Skag. Alrighty guys, so as you can see right there on screen, we have a picture of the Alpha Skag, and guys, the Alpha Skags are one of the one of the biggest Skags in the game, uh, right next to the Badass Skags, which we are also going to be covering, the uh, Badass Alpha Skags, because there are multiple types of Badass Skags in Borderlands 1, so that's what we're also going to be covering, is some of the Badass Alphas that you can uh, encounter within this game. There is the Badass Fire Alpha, the Badass Shock Alpha, and then the Badass Corrosive Alpha. Now if you haven't noticed yet, Alpha Skags are very armored in the front, but in the back, uh, their hind legs are actually quite vulnerable, so try to get around back when you're up against an Alpha Skag. Alrighty guys, so going over the just Alpha Skags attack mechanics, before we go on to the uh, uh, the badass Alpha Skags and their attack mechanics, let's just, let's just talk about the attack mechanics for the just plain Alpha Skag. So the Alpha Skag doesn't really introduce anything new. They just try to they try to get up close and personal. They have the charge attack. They use that a lot. They try to get up in your face and uh, claw your face off. They have that attack uh, with their razor sharp claws. They leap at you and just like all Skags, you know, they, they open their mouths so you can shoot them in their crit. Uh, that gives you an opportunity there, but just try to get around these skags. Try to get around them. It's, sometimes it can be pretty tough, but when they charge, that's a good way to, you know, hit them in their hind legs, which is where they are vulnerable. Now, badass alpha skags are different from just plain alpha skags for obvious reasons. One, they're badasses, and two, they um, come in elemental varieties. There is no non-elemental badass alpha. Now, going over their attack mechanics, um, all three of these badass alphas have the same attacks, which we have not yet seen before, but their attacks are infused with their specific elemental type. So if we're talking about a fire badass alpha, of course, we'd be using fire attacks. But in the end, all three of these badass alphas have these just same attacks, but just with different types of damage depending on their elemental type. Now going over their elemental infused attacks, uh, the first of which is their shockwave slash area of effect Nova type attack, which uh, can cause knockback and a lot of damage. So try to stay out of that. Um, and then their next attack is the spin attack like we've seen before with previous skags, except this one is infused with their elemental type. And then the last of which is um, their like spray attack where they open their mouths, which gives you an opportunity to shoot them in the crit. And this is like a short range attack. So they, they open their mouths and they just spray depending on their elemental type. Uh, fire, corrosive, or shock, and it is pretty easy to avoid, and it's also a really good way, like I said, it shows their critical hit spot, so try to not miss that opportunity when they use that attack. Now, the best elemental weapon types to use against just the plain alpha skag is corrosive and fire. Both of them work really well, and then uh, when it comes down to the, um, you know, badass alphas, you want to use the elemental type that opposes their own, you know, depending on their their elemental type. So obviously, you don't want to use a fire weapon against a fire badass alpha. That just won't end well. They'll they'll be resistant to it. Um, so instead, use a corrosive or whatever else you have available. Alpha Skags and Badass Alpha Skags can be found in Arid Badlands, Skag Gully, Lost Cave, Arid Hills, and finally Crazy Old Scrapyard. So that about wraps things up guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And in the next episode, uh, we'll be finishing off the Skags um, by doing and covering the rest of the Badass Skags. This was just the Badass Alpha Skags we covered. There's still some Badass Skags to cover. I know there's a lot of them. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm out of here. Peace!